The purpose of this video is to demonstrate a projector setup that mimics the Ditto setup. It is not a complete process video on how to set up a projector for sewing. The Ditto Pattern Projector by Joanne and Singer was released in March of 2023. The introductory price was $799. It is the first commercial pattern sewing projector, but it is not the first to use a projector to project patterns. Sewists have been using a projector to project their patterns onto fabric for years now. So the question is, can you create a do-it-yourself ditto and save money? Let's find out. The ditto is a complete pattern projection system. It comes with a projector, a mount, a cutting mat, a rotary cutter, pattern weights, and an app to connect dittopatterns.com to communicate to your projector. For the do-it-yourself solution, I picked a portable projector, a clamp mount, and a shower curtain rod to get our setup. Now, I want to pause here and say, I could have chosen any projector to compare with the Ditto. So, why did I choose this particular one? First, it's portability. It is small and compact and could easily be mounted on a tension rod. Next, I was looking for a projector that gave me a nice and a large image size. When connected to a computer, this projector gave me about a 26 and a half inch by 47 and a half inch image size. I knew that the Ditto only did a 24 inch by 36 inch, so I wanted one that could give me a larger image size. I also wanted a projector that was bright enough to see in some daylight and had a good resolution for movies and TV. This one has 1080 pixels of net native resolution and does produce a nice image. Now, since the Ditto connects wirelessly to your phone or tablet, I wanted to get a projector that could wirelessly connect to my tablet. This Mogo Pro has built-in Chromecast and screen mirroring, so it can do that. I didn't have to add anything to it. I also liked the fact that I could watch TVs and movies directly from the projector without casting from my phone or using a Roku or similar device. It has Android TV built into it, so it's basically a portable smart TV. I know the Ditto can't do anything like that, so that's not comparable to that, but I was looking for a projector that had that. And finally, I wanted to try out this feature of Auto Keystone. Some of the newer projectors are coming out with Auto Keystone, and I was curious if this would be helpful for calibration when you are sewing. And I found out that it really wasn't, unfortunately, a feature that uh, was useful for sewing. So. That feature proved to be unuseful, but those are some of the reasons why I chose to use the projector that I did. For the do-it-yourself solution, I grabbed my portable projector, the quick release clamp mount, and my curtain tension rod to begin the setup process. I decided it would be easier to attach the projector to the quick release clamp mount first and attach it to the tension rod before I extended it to the height of the ceiling. This entire process of putting the projector on the tension rod and the clamp mount and raising it up to the ceiling took probably about 10 minutes. It wasn't very long at all. 
to get this whole part set up. I used the corner of the room to get the right height for the projector, just extended the curtain rod up into the corner. And then the curtain rod did, it was a tension rod, so it has a spring in it. And I used that to move it to the location by my table and lined it up. Next, I grabbed a level just to make sure that the tension rod was squared up. This will make calibration in the next step a lot easier. When setting up your own projector for sewing, the calibration process will be a little bit longer than you will find on the Ditto. It involves manually moving and tilting the projector, your cutting mat to make sure everything is squared and lined up. You can use any device that you already have in your home, whether it be a computer, laptop, phone, or tablet. For demonstration purposes in this video, I went ahead and used a tablet since that's what they used in the Ditto video. You will zoom in on your device and find a correct what we call calibration zoom. This entire process took me about 15 minutes and I was ready to go. Once your projector is calibrated, you do not need to calibrate it again unless you move your projector. So think about it as a one-time calibration and you're ready to sew several patterns. You don't want to miss what I have to tell you next. But before I go in, please remember to like and subscribe below. Thank you. What if I told you, you could use any PDF pattern that includes any PDF pattern that you already own and any PDF pattern you want to buy in the future. But what about customizable and my fit? Ditto has customizable and MyFit patterns. Well, you're in for a treat because in an upcoming video, I'm gonna go over many pattern companies that allow you to do just that, your fit, your size on their patterns right now. Okay, it's the moment we have all been waiting for. It's time to compare the cost between the Ditto and the do-it-yourself setup. Remember the Ditto, comes with everything you need to get started. So what did I include in my do-it-yourself pattern projector setup? Well, I bought a projector, I bought a mount, and I included the software that I used on my tablet to project. That's kind of an extra thing. There's lots of free software out there, but I'm gonna go ahead and include it in the cost just for comparison purposes. I also chose not to include my cutting mat or my rotary cutter in my calculations because I think many sewists already have those things, but keep in mind if you need to buy those, maybe add an extra $50 onto the estimate. The Ditto also includes pattern weights. The pattern weights that I actually use are free floor tile samples, so I also did not include that in my cost. So here is the breakdown. Remember the Ditto includes everything. Which projector you buy can really change the price on a do-it-yourself solution. And you, there is free software. I just chose to include uh, Affinity Designer that I use on my tablet in my setup. I'll put links below if you wanna check out any of these items that I bought for my do-it-yourself setup. Drum roll. This means I spent a total of $361 on my do-it-yourself projector setup. That's a savings of over $438 compared to the Ditto.
But not even that, you can check out any other do-it-yourself setup. One like this cost me $180. That's a savings of $619. This setup cost $120. That's a savings of over $679 compared to the Ditto. All right, let's talk about the Ditto pros and cons. The Ditto is a, a package deal. It's a complete package deal. The only decision you need to make is to buy it and set it up in your sewing space, which is hopefully between seven and a half feet and 10 and a half feet ceilings, because if it's outside of those parameters, the Ditto does not work for you. On a do-it-yourself setup, you would need to pick a projector and a mount that works for your sewing space, and you have to make those decisions, which can sometimes be overwhelming. Next, the Ditto, another great pro is that calibration is easy. It is literally the quick click of a button, and it's ready to go. Now, while calibration is simple, you are stuck with a 24 inch by 36 image size. There is no option of making that image size larger. Next, another great pro is that the Ditto brand patterns are customizable. They're made to your measurements and they connect directly to your projector. However, you must purchase each pattern individually or pay for a monthly subscription and you only have access to those patterns while you have an active subscription. I know there is a little bit of leeway on that of when you can reactivate and get all the patterns back that you had saved. Now, other brands on that website, there are other brands on the website, but those are not customizable and they are not made to your measurements. They are just the standard measurements. So it's only the Ditto brand patterns that are made to your measurements. Now you can also not use any other PDF pattern that is not included at dittopatterns.com. You currently cannot use any pattern from your current library if you have your own digital PDF patterns. You cannot use those with the Ditto projector. Now let's take a closer look at the do-it-yourself sewing projector setup. With a sew, uh, do it yourself sewing projector setup, you can choose the projector and mount that is right for your sewing room. There are a lot of options. This might make it hard and overwhelming for some to figure out which one is right for them. But another pro is you can get a larger size. Don't want to splice or shift fabric when you're cutting out a pattern that's larger than your projection. Well, you can get a projector that can produce a large image size. But the downside of that is you will need to be able to scale and calibrate the projector manually, which can be intimidating for some, especially the less tech savvy out there. Thank goodness for resources like projectorsewing.com and many of the Facebook groups that are projectors for sewing. We've talked a lot about budget. You can save a lot of money with a do-it-yourself sewing projector. How much you want to spend is up to you. Don't want to spend $800 on a sewing projector? No worries. There are do-it-yourself setups that are that have many budget-friendly ways to get started, inclu including buying secondhand projectors at a very affordable price. Some people do decide to get a very nice projector or a more expensive projector and do end up spending close to $800. But again, that's your choice. There is a wide range you can work right within your budget. Next, or do-it-yourself sewing projector. It can do more than project patterns. With a do-it-yourself setup, you are using a regular projector. That means it's just a second screen. You can use it for family movie nights, arts and crafts, gaming, and so much more. Finally, patterns. You can use any PDF pattern file. Yes, absolutely any. If it is digital, 
there is a way to use it. You can even turn paper patterns into digital to use if you want to. It is a little bit of a process, but you absolutely can do that if you would like to. That means there's no subscriptions and there's absolutely no printing and taping again. You can truly go paperless. You are even able to use made to measure patterns. And remember, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss that video that I'm going to talk about many pattern companies that allow you to make made to measurement patterns. With a do-it-yourself setup, you can completely go digital and never print and tape a pattern together again. Are you ready to get started with your own sewing projector setup, but unsure of where to start? Then make sure you stay tuned. I have a special offer for you coming up in this video. If not, thank you for watching. Please give me a like and a subscribe if you appreciated this video. Join me in the Complete Projector Confidence course. In this course, you're going to learn to get started using a projector for sewing. I will go through how to choose a projector and a mount perfect for your sewing space, walk you step by step through an easy calibration process, and get you started projecting patterns, tips and tricks in no time at all. Take the hassle out of learning how to get started and join me in the Complete Projector Confidence course today. Find the special discount code below.